Hi everyone, this is Shane Armand Rowe and I am so excited to help you out changing your mango HUD into something that you want. Now we're doing this sort of split screen. The top represents my Steam Deck in gaming mode running Overwatch 2 so you can see my overlay. Down here in the bottom left hand corner, I'm in a file manager with SSH FS over to my Steam Deck's home directory. You can see down here, desktop downloads, all the things that you would expect. Uh, and then over here on the right, I've got a notepad editor, notepad plus plus, but uh, I've already gone through the SSH process. Now you could do this on device, but you wouldn't be able to see instantaneous upgrades. So let's go into config and you're looking for a folder called Mango HUD. If it doesn't exist, go ahead and create it, but make absolutely sure that Mango HUD has camel case, capital M for Mango, capital H for HUD. Inside of there, you may have a presets.config file. If you do not, you're going to need to create one. Again, it needs to be a plain text file. It needs to be called presets.conf config. Presets config. It must be named that exactly and it must be a pure text file. So um, you can see here, I went ahead and created a new file. I'm gonna go ahead and rename it, make sure it's named correctly. And then I'm going to go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and now open that in Notepad. And as you can see, it's empty, right? We made an empty file. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our presets in here. Now, we're not gonna go through the entire gambit of what you could do, just a handful of things, but you can see right now I'm on preset two, and this is what preset two looks like, as you can see. Okay, now over here, I have a copy of what preset two should be. So these are all the commands for preset two. I'm gonna grab those and I'm going to put them all over into my preset config file. And you can see here, there's a variety of things that sort of make sense and some things that may not necessarily make sense, but it's super simple. Once we've got that preset in there, that's gonna take over preset number two. We're gonna save it. We're gonna change off of preset two and go back to preset two. Now you don't even have to actually exit out. I just wanted to turn it off so you can see that we are actually making some changes here. You can see after saving it, it's 229 bytes. So we definitely made a change. Now let's go back to preset two. Now you can see here that the things have been reordered a little bit. The default preset two doesn't quite look like my preset two, even all, all the data is there, things have been moved around. The power indicator has been moved. Um, the uh, frame pacing has been moved, the graph. So yeah, I mean, you can do whatever you want with this thing and uh, it's really great. So one of the things that we really wanna do here is add the time. Everybody wants to know how do I add the time to my overlay? All you have to do is add the keyword time at the end of this. Save it, toggle off of preset two and then back on to preset two. You don't actually have to close it. Just go off of two and then back onto two and there you go. It is now 1245 and 47 seconds. That's fantastic. So you can literally build your own HUD with all of the stuff that only you care about, including having a time that can be on the screen full time. I know a lot of you, that's probably what you came in here for. Thank you, please like, subscribe, hit the bell. I appreciate you watching this far. But we're gonna go into a little more detail of some of the other things you can do. Now in this GitHub, and all the links to these will be in the description below, don't panic. Here in this GitHub, it will tell you every possible command that you can use. Every single one that that uh, HUD will take. So you can see here, there's a ton of things that you can add. There's ways of changing the way it looks, the way it stretches, um, the way that it has multiple lines or a single line. All of these things are changeable by you using these configuration items. Well, here's something, uh, how about VRAM, right? Maybe VRAM is something that uh, we might be interested in. So let's put VRAM right after RAM. We'll save it. Right now you can see it's just RAM alone. And now VRAM has been added, 1.6 gigabytes. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. So now if, you, if you're you know, interested in knowing um, what your video RAM usage is, right? You can tell. Show FPS limit, I wonder what that does. Let's see, show FPS limit, we'll save it. Off and on. Oh, there's something up there, what does that say? Um, zero, I'm not, um, hmm. I don't know what that, I don't know what that actually translates into, FPS limit. Maybe if I actually imposed a limit instead of unlimited, it would show up there. So that might be something useful, especially if you're trying to dial in a whole bunch of games. 
I'm just happy to have the time in there. <laughs> well, you can even show the current version of Proton or Wine. Wow, look at that. That's pretty neat. I mean, there's so much stuff in here. And of course, you know, um, oh, swap file. Yeah, hey, that's kind of cool. You want to see how much uh, swap file space you're using? That indeed could be interesting. Off and on. And uh, there, there's your swap file, 0.2 gigabytes right there. Nice. You can do all sorts of cool stuff with this. And you know, it's not just um, adding stuff, right? You could remove stuff. You could move stuff around because you can see that these all render in order. So maybe um, there's stuff that you don't want, right? Maybe there's, you don't care about the CPU stats or the GPU stats, or uh, you don't care about this or that. Maybe you want the time in the upper uh, left-hand corner. So it's easy to see and it's not uh, dependent on some other formatting. Um, you can turn certain things off, whatever you don't need. Let's take them out of there. Move the FPS next to time. Time, FPS, and battery, my top three things. And uh, maybe I don't care about anything else. I'll just delete those. What does that look like? Hey, <laughs> that's actually kind of cool. I see the frame pacers there too. So that's probably that frame timing equals one. Probably get rid of that. So there's a ton of stuff you can do. Reorder it, make it your own, do what you want with it. Now you've got the power to do it. Listen, I hope you like what you saw here. If you did, of course, like, subscribe, hit that bell. Um, got more content coming for you since our kick ban off of YouTube is now over. I appreciate everybody watching. Thanks so much, and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.